I'm about to introduce you to perhaps the most bizarre plant in the world. It's a parasite that smells absolutely foul. And that's not even the weirdest thing about it. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. Most plants you see out in nature are leafy and green, at least for some part of their lives. That's because they use green pigments called chlorophyll to harvest energy from sunlight. But the plant Hydnora africana, which lives in parts of southern Africa, doesn't have any leaves or chlorophyll at all. So how can it survive? Well, it's a parasite, and it's completely reliant on another plant called euphorbia. H. africana attaches itself to euphorbia's roots and begins sucking up sugars, minerals, and water from its host. The parasite grows a root system, living completely underground until it's ready to reproduce, at which point it grows one of the strangest looking flowers I've ever seen in my life. And when the flowers mature, it bursts from beneath the soil in order to be pollinated. But just as this plant doesn't look like your average flower, it doesn't smell like one either. It reeks like a rotting animal carcass. In fact, some species in the genus Hydnora actually make themselves hotter in order to increase the distance the smell travels. The odor lures beetles and flies looking for a delicious meal of festering flesh. Mm, flesh. But when they crawl inside the flower and find no tasty treat, they can't get back out again. There's a sort of chamber inside the flower, and the top of the chamber closes behind the insects. The walls of the flower are also slippery, making escape even more difficult. Help! Over the course of about a day, the flower's male organs mature, and the insects get coated in pollen. And at the end of this transformation, the inside of the plant gets less slippery, and the chamber opens, allowing the beetles and flies to escape. At that point, attracted by a new rotting stench, they might just find another H. africana flower and pollinate it as they tumble inside. Once a flower is pollinated, the plant begins growing a fruit underground. And when animals eat the fruit, they spread H. africana's seeds, starting a new generation of parasites. Jackals find the fruits particularly yummy, but humans like them too. And for a plant that looks and smells so foul, it supposedly tastes delicious. One scientist I spoke with told me that the fruits of H. johannis, which is a close relative, taste like strawberry yogurt. Anyway, for those of you hoping to grow these plants at home, you're probably out of luck. No one's been able to germinate their seeds in the lab yet. Clearly, we have far more to learn about these strange parasites. After all, they live underground for most of their lives, making them extremely hard to find. But that makes them an excellent topic for all you future botanists out there. That is, if you can get over the scent. <laughs> Ew. Hey guys, just a side note about how difficult these plants are to find. One related species called H. triceps rarely emerges from the ground at all. The flowers just crack open the crusty desert sand where it grows and lures insects below with its smell. A scientist who studies these parasites named Lytton Musselman told me that he finds Hydnora plants using what he calls nose botany. Anyway, I just loved that and thought I'd share. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Grow Science and check that little uh, bell icon to get updated every time I post. Thanks, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, one more quick thing. PBS Digital Studios is doing a survey and we'd love it if you take a few minutes to fill it out. I'll put a link in the description. Basically, we just wanna know how we can make even better content for you guys. Also, 25 randomly selected participants will win a free PBS t-shirt. All right, thanks so much, bye.